right, hello, and oh my god, I just woke up to some amazing, amazing potential news. So I don't know what they're doing, but it seems like we have another character just announced. I am, um, I mean, this character looks way too good not to be a five star, right? So first of all, let's look into the post itself. Let's look at what it says. And uh, then we'll look at the design uh, in, in more detail. So first of all, we have the post-lament and Tropocene stars intertwined. Eons of time on this vast land, all encapsulated in a humble game. I am fortunate to have you as my opponent, Shangli. Archive. Counselor to the Jinzhou Magistrate, Shangli excels at leveraging human nature to corner her enemies into traps. Being the mentor to Jinsi, she is persuasive and patient. She entertains an unwavering aspiration, holding her ground in the endless game against time and chaos. Ooh! So first of all, the idea of like uh, cornering her enemies into a trap gives me massive Yin Lin vibes. Um, she seems to be the mentor to Jinsi, which is pretty cool. I love Jinsi. She was the, the previous character to be announced, it seems. I, I just like her. She's interesting. She's connected to, to more characters that we know. Uh, and I, I love seeing that uh, she's not the first character to have like those. Um, she's not the first character to have those kind of ornaments here. It looks beautiful. Her hair is oh, top tier. I love like the the pink. Uh, yeah, it looks it looks more pink than red, but like it goes down and then transitions to being white. I absolutely love this. I love red hair. No, sorry, I love white hair. Although to be fair, red hair. Kind of can work sometimes, uh, but like pink, white, mwah, love it. Then her jacket, not on the shoulders, of course, of course, can't have that. Um, I love how it looks, like the, the black exterior with all of the ribbons and uh, the red interior looks absolutely beautiful, in my opinion. I Yeah, it just looks good. Uh, Shangling, Huanglong, eons of time on this vast land, all encapsulated in a humble game. Boop, 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 boop. So that's uh, the quote from earlier. And um, so there's a little thing that you can see bottom right. There it is. As you can see here, she seems to have phoenix feathers, right? Well, I mean, I say phoenix, but like this could be... Uh, it looks like a peacock feathers, but because if it's red, it really reminds me of uh, phoenix feathers. Uh, so between that and like, you know, the, the red, orange, pink, uh, this really gives me vibes of obviously Phoenix and thus fire and thus fusion. Is she going to be our first limited five star fusion character? She might be. At the moment, the only five star fusion character we have is Encore. Uh, and she's obviously on the permanent banner. So she could be the quote-unquote, upgrade to that. She looks absolutely amazing. Her hair seems to be very long as well, as we can see, be over here. Um, is she wearing something? It might be another ribbon here. You can see there's like a cloth here. Uh, man, her design is amazing. What she has, like the color thingy. I don't know what to call this. And it goes down. She kind of has like a double booba window. There's like a small booba window on top and then a booba window at the bottom right there. And then, uh, yeah, she just looks really, really good. I, I absolutely adore this design. I love the the, um, the rings in her hair here. Um, she just looks amazing. Oh my God. I don't know how her hair functions there because we can see it like go here, go into the ring and then come out at the bottom of the ring. Like, how does that work? Like here it looks like it, goes in like that but then how does it go to the side like how d <laughs> i don't know i don't care it looks good <laughs> so yeah um i'm 100 percent gonna pull for her she she looks amazing right now i am um, i'm gonna get in Lin. i'm gonna get changli i'm gonna skip the first banner because those waifus are just too good love him Love him. We're not seeing the gourd on her design. I assume it's going to be in the back. Uh, and yeah, in terms of what kind of weapon she could use, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't think they would go for double, the, you know, like, I don't remember what it's called, but like the, the flying lethal weapon, like the catalyst looking weapon. 
uh, for the two potential five-star fusion characters, if she is fusion. I could definitely see her using a sword. Yeah, I would see... I think a sword would be good. Uh, I guess she could use guns, but I don't know. Uh, I, I would kind of like to, to see the uh, Wuxia. Wuxia? I'm sorry if I butchered it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, looking great. Absolutely fantastic. Do let me know if you're going to pull for her. I mean, I, I assume she's going to be playable, right? It's not confirmed 100%. But I don't think they would do those kind of drip marketing if the character's not going to be playable. This this can't be just an NPC, right? Come on, let's be real. So, uh, yeah, do let me know if you're going to pull. You're going to pull for her, and um, drop a comment about that. And of course, uh, like, subscribe, all the good, good. Join me on twitchtv slash Kitty I'll be doing a giveaways for each hour. I'll be playing. I'll be streaming. On the day of release, I'll be doing a giveaway of a Lunite subscription, which is the welkin of this game. And I'll also be giving away some battle passes. Um, you can also join my Discord at discord.gg slash kittycathy. And uh, you can join the wonderful community. And um, make sure to join it to be eligible to receive the, the giveaways. So yeah, anyway, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!